So, welcome to our new house member, Alan. Hi. Oh, my God. How do you do it? Eat, I mean. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really hungry. <laughs> I've been very vocal about the fact that I went through eating disorders as well, and I think that to take a topic like this and make it mainstream in a way that doesn't caricaturize it, it, it um, doesn't tutorialize anything, it just breathes life into a subject matter that is considered quite taboo to talk about today, even though it's more and more prevalent among young women and men, I think it's so important. And I just saw it as a, a bigger conversation than just myself. I saw it as, as meaning way, much, way more than just what it was personally to me. 280 for the pork. 350 for the buttered noodles, 125 for the butter beans, 150 for the roll, and 50, no, 75 for butter. How often do you get to actually face a fear head on and kind of kick its ass um, while being, you know, under supervision and feeling really safe? There was a fine line to walk, but I was being held accountable by so many people. I also was a lot further along in my recovery and I'm um, a different person now. So there wasn't even a conversation where it was like, you must reach this goal weight. It was, this is the role, we love you to do this because you can tell the story in a specific way. But I took it upon myself to say, all right, I wanna feel like I'm in the mindset of the character, let's do it healthfully, but I need to go there in order to feel like I'm paying homage to her, but also to me as when I was going through it. So. You know, hopefully this will just bring to light a topic that people need to talk about. Did you just say something optimistic? I did say semi.